Interesting facts about famous people. Interesting facts about George Kennedy. George Harris Kennedy Jr., 1925 to 2016, was an actor appearing in more than 100 television productions and films, appearing in Dragline, opposite Paul Newman in 1967's Cool Hand Luke, winning the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor and also being nominated for the Golden Globe, received a second Golden Globe nomination for portraying Joe Petroni in 1970's Airport. Here are some interesting facts about George Kennedy. Kennedy's career in film began in 1961 in The Little Shepherd of Kingdom Come. Including as the sadistic jail guard in the Kirk Douglas modern western Lonely Are the Brave, 1962. A ruthless criminal in the Cary Grant suspense film Charade, 1963. And in a Joan Crawford thriller, Straight Jacket, 1964. In 1965, he appeared with Gregory Peck in the mystery Mirage, in the plane crash adventure The Flight of the Phoenix, in the war film In Harm's Way, and in the western The Sons of Katie Elder, the role for which he won the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor in Cool Hand Luke, 1967, that of Dragline, a chain gang convict who at first resents the new prisoner in camp, played by Paul Newman, then comes to idolise the rebellious Luke. Kennedy appeared in The Dirty Dozen, Bandolero, and The Boston Strangler. In 1970, he appeared in the disaster film Airport, playing Joe Petroni, one of its main characters, reprising this role in Airport 1975, 77, and The Concord, Airport 79. The only cast member to appear in each film of the series. The Airport franchise inspired the satire Aeroplane, in which the filmmakers hoped to cast Kennedy as the bumbling plane dispatcher. The role went to Lloyd Bridges because Kennedy couldn't kill off his airport cash cab. Co-starring with Clint Eastwood in two films, Thunderbolt and Lightfoot and The Iger Sanction, and with ensemble casts in the disaster film Earthquake and the Agatha Christie mystery Death on the Nile. Kennedy starred in two Japanese productions, Junya Sato's Proof of the Man in 1977 and Kinji Fakushaku's Virus in 1980. Kennedy starred opposite Bo Derek in the box office bomb Valero in 1984. His other films during the 80s included Savage Dawn, The Delta Force and Creepshow 2, then playing a top supporting role in the comedy film The Naked Gun from the Files of Police Squad in 1988 playing Captain Ed Hocken opposite Leslie Nielsen's comical cop, Frank Drebin. There were two sequels in which Kennedy also co-starred. Kennedy starred as Carter McKay in Dallas 1978 to 1991, appearing from 1988 to 1991. Around this time, he reprised his role as McKay in the television films Dallas, J.R. Returns and Dallas, War of the Ewings. He voiced Brick Bazooka for the film Small Soldiers in 1998, making a 2003 comeback to television in the soap opera you The Albert Young and Miller? the Restless, playing Albert Miller, the biological father to Victor Newman. In 2005, he made a cameo appearance in the film Don't Come Knocking, playing the director of an ill-fated western. Kennedy made his final appearance in 2014's The Gambler as Ed, the dying grandfather of Mark Wahlberg's Jim Bennett. His role lasts for less than two minutes during the film's opening scene wherein Ed, moments before his death, bequeaths the responsibility of Patriarch to his heartbroken Jim. Thank you for your time today. I hope you liked the video. Please leave me your comments. I do appreciate likes, shares and subscribers. It helps me a lot. Bye for now.